Hi, this is the first episode of my new tutorial series for the AVR framework. In this episode, I want to show how to get started and how to build a level from scratch. After downloading the project, we end up with this basic file stru structure with each uh, folder containing the respective content. So what we want to do is create a new experience. So we go inside the experience folder. Um, we create a new folder called tutorial. And we go in there and create a new folder called maps. So in here, all our new maps will uh, uh, will, will be placed. And uh, then we can uh, create a new level. Calling a level, I will take the, the simple default level. And once that has been loaded, um, <clears throat> we, we can save that level. Save current, and we will save that in the folder that we just, we just created. So we call that map tutorial. We don't need many requirements in the map, but uh, there are two things which should always be there. So one is a player start, um, which is called BP player position. It is in the in the navigation folder. So this basically indicates uh, where the VR pawn should be should be located, and for uh, the other one that uh, every level has to have is a post process, uh, which is handled for the highlighting. From here we can already hit play, and we can see that we are starting at the player position, and we already have the controllers in place. But that is not all. We need to set all the variables and parameters that should be linked to the map itself. So I'll just exit here. So now we need to assign the experience object to the level. And for that, uh, we need to assign it to game mode first. So go to framework, um, create a child object of the BP game mode. And uh, we call that also BP game mode tutorial. And uh, we will also move that in here just to keep everything together. So now what we can do is we can assign the game mode uh, to, to the level in the world settings. And in the game mode itself, we can assign our newly created universal file and our experience file. And uh, the rest should be good. So we save compile that, and now we have our experience file linked with, with the game mode. Now that we have the experience objects linked and set up, we can take a quick look inside and we can see that we have a lot of parameters and variables that we can set here. So a lot of components in the world will try to get global information from this experience object. And we can see here that we have a lot of sections, for example, the panels, the palette, um, logic, transition, controls, uh, movement and I will cover most of that in uh, future episodes but for now we will try to uh, create a transition for uh, this map to finish setting up the map itself. So what can we do to create the transition of the level? So first off I will uh, close the experience object again and I will go into the maps folder and I will create a new level which is called map to world. So this is going to be an empty level. And if we go in there, save selected, um, we see that it's completely empty. And inside the levels panel, which you can find under Windows levels, um, you can uh, pull in the, the tutorial map, and you can pull in our transitions, uh, transition map. So this is going to allow us to first load the uh, map transition, which when we look at that is almost a very, um, a very, very empty level. It just has a sky sphere. It uh, has a start position and it has a transition screen. And uh, this is going to show us for about eight, eight or 10 seconds. And then our tutorial level will be loaded up and uh, we can actually start our whole experience. 
So now we need to link the game mode to uh, the level as well by dragging the game mode that we created onto the game mode override in the world settings. And we can take a look in the experience object and fill out the parameters for the transition. So for the transition, we, we need a title, which we will call tutorial and the subtitle AVR framework. And we can also set a sky sphere. If no sky sphere is set, we will just take a, a set a transition color, which is going to be a plain color. Um, but since we have sky spheres, I'll just choose one of the ones that I have in place, the sky sphere realistic, for example. And uh, lastly, we need to set uh, the level name, which was map tutorial and uh, the world name, which is map tutorial world for uh, the transition to know which worlds to load. So we can hit save and compile. And we can take a quick look whether everything is being loaded fine. So for that, uh, let's just hit play. And we can see that it's loading the transition and it loads the tutorial and the AVR framework. And as soon as that is done loading, it takes us to the level and from there we can start the level. So um, yeah, that that is about all for, for the first episode. We have looked at how we can create a level and how we can get the experience object to work and how we can get the transition to work. So um, in the next round, I will try to set up um, the, the, the game menu and how the actual ma level management will, will work. So thank you guys for listening and see you in the next episode.